Okay, 3.34 p.m. on the 1st of October still. We got that flight of B-17s up and about, uh, heading sort of just south of Malta. Oh, and we've got a couple of ships in the water. There they are. So let's get these uh, set to, see if we can do some flat bombing against these two ships. Okay, so we've got two bombers uh, heading for each of the two ships. So the, obviously the two, clo two closest are heading for the um, this one right in front of us. We can do some flat bombing and those two over there are heading for the vessel shooting up north. Well, it's a, there's, a, there's a fifth aircraft which is on standby. He's just kind of looping around until we get these bombs hopefully on target and we'll see how these B-17s do. Oh, that's quite a drop of bombs. Hopefully they're on target. Okay, looks like we've got an Italian destroyer here and maybe a Kriegsmarine destroyer over there. Oh, I think that looking pretty deadly. Oh, same two with the German ship. Wow. That was a great attack. Um, we'll keep the fifth bomber back to see if either of these one's dead. I think it's the Italian ship in front of us. And there goes the second ship. The fifth B-17 can stand down and return to base. Brilliant. What an opening. Two destroyers. So there we go. Two destroyers sunk for 2,450 and 2,270 tons respectively. Nice. Right, so here are those um, B-17s. We'll get those returning to base. Uh, they were out of Tripoli by the looks of things. Uh, we've got the Anti-Submarine Patrol 2 in this area. Um, they are, w should be doing some um, sort of patrols in front of there between that. Okay, we're getting doing that in front of the port. We've got uh, a destroyer escort sailing around here. Maybe we can get um, some aircraft up from Malta. No, we can't. We need to wait um, and check them out. We've got a submarine there, another destroyer bollocks of it, another submarine. What do we got here in Tunis? We have aircraft, we've got B-17s, we've got Spitfires and we've got uh, bow fighters. Hmm. The problem is none of these are probably quick enough. Can we get bomb? We can get bombs on the Spitfires. I reckon. Let's send two Spitfires out. Oh, with rockets. Hell yeah. See if they can go a bit of submarine hunting. I only get one pass at a sub before she dives, so we'll, we'll get that going. Um, meanwhile, we've got some um, Hornets uh, doing a bit of a recon. Oh yes, we've got the Exters group, who's uh, looking to hunt down potentially the Konigsberg, or I think it was Konigsberg, wasn't it? There, and up here we've got the um, two destroyers with the troop ships behind them or the merchants acting as troop ships um, hopefully trying to uh, land here in Algiers okay here are two Spitfires hunting for that submarine oh it sounds like they've spotted it there she, is that her over there that could be her there's certainly something over there yeah U-boat over there let's turn and let's go hunting Okay, they're charging in now. Hopefully that U-boat will not have time to fully submerge. It's going to be close. Got hits on it. Got a smoking. Is she just going to head straight down? She's gone, yes. Good shooting, boys. Good shooting. What a start to this episode. So there you have it. Another U-boat sunk for 753 tons. Very good indeed. Well done, boys. You can return to base. Yeah, that is what we're going to do. Shoot in as quickly as we can. Rev the rockets and see if we can finish some of these subs off. That was fantastic. Um, let's try that again from here. 
Uh, let's get a couple of sub, a uh, couple of subs, a couple of Spitfires. Rid those rockets on, and these seem to be good little anti-submarine trolls. Let's send that one after them. Hopefully, he's still in the area. Okay, moments later, here are the other two Spitfires we sent out. That chime lets you know that they have spotted something. Sadly, it would seem we've lost contact with that sub. Um, as we're nearing, she obviously got some early warning of us and was able to dive away. So this one has gotten away for us. But we've still got these two Spitfires with their rockets. So if anything else is in the area, we may certainly look to explore. There we go. We leave the action area. Confirmation that submarine is heavy damage and moderate. Um, so... Yeah, but she was able to get away. Dive quickly. Obviously, they're alerted by the sounds of there. Um, so, with these, I wonder what we've got. 300 nautical miles. Let's send them to see if they can attack that um, light cruiser. At quarter past four, our two Spitfires out on patrol with rockets. Of nearing the area of that light cruiser. And is that her there? That looks like her there. Right, let's send these in. See if they can cause a bit of damage to slow her down for the Exeter's group to catch up. Oof. We, we got rockets on target, but it's been costly. One spit far down and one damaged. Oh my goodness. And she's opening up all hell on that remaining spit far. Goodness me. Even firing main guns. Okay, I don't think a lot of damage was done by that. It's probably not worth it in the future. But we had to test it out. See how effective they were. The answer is, not very. Confirmation, two aircraft attacked. We lost one, sadly. Uh, heavy damage and moderate flooding to the cruiser. But she's still heading on. At 5pm, two B-17s on patrol south of Malta. Looking for a destroyer escort. There's something over there. That actually looks like a sub. Okay, let's turn. She may get away before we can um, begin a bomb run, but um, we will attempt to bomb this uh, U boat. Did she get below the waves in time? I think she may have. She's been rocked with a disturbance in the water, but her engines are still going, so there's a good chance she will survive. Confirmation that sub survived with moderate damage and moderate flooding, so maybe we did do some damage. Um, good effort. Let's get those returning to base. Oh, meanwhile, we've got some fighters and it looks like some enemy bombers up in the water, right? Up in the water? Up over the water. So let's, um, we probably don't need to send all, let's send, um, eight Spitfires. We don't need the bomb. This is just purely for bomber intercepts. See if we can intercept those, uh, bombers coming south, probably towards Malta. At quarter past five, our Spitfires are about to intercept the enemy bomber raids coming in. Oh, it looks like it's the Luftwaffe this time. One bomber already going down in flames. Another one gone, another one gone, and another one bites the dust. Beautiful. So, good news is our eight fighters were successful and did not lose a single aircraft against six of the German bombers. I think they were Heinkel 177s. Um, unusual aircraft, don't see many of those depicted, but. Uh, Thankfully, all six shot down. Meanwhile, uh, I may send them on to have a quick go at these fighters here. See if we can um, send them packing as well. 
Oh, it looks like those uh, fighters were actually measures me the two tens or something like that. Two twenties. I can't remember. They are two tens. Uh, looks like they got torpedoes um, and maybe depth charges. They were doing a hunting for some ships, perhaps. All right. I don't know how many are there. Hopefully. Oh, I think that's one of my Spitfires going down. Oh, we might be outmatched. Outmatched here. He's on for his hat trick there. Good fighting, boys. Oh, and we were able to get those aircraft out of the area. So we started with eight aircraft apiece, and we both lost three aircraft apiece. Score draw. We'll get those um, Spitfires, the remaining five Spitfires, back to Malta for repairs and rearming. As 5 a.m. rolls around, Malta has detected a potential light cruiser and a destroyer. Heading past her waters, so let's uh, let's send up six B-17s to go and check them out. Uh, and meantime, well, we'll hold fire from there. Uh, meantime, um, well, so here's Exeter. She's made a good ways up, but she's not been able to find actually any um, trace of the Coningsberg. She seems to have slipped away annoyingly. It's one of those things, these things do happen, of course. But jolly annoying. All right, there we go. Boris can do that from the Exeter, so she's got a bit of uh, recon. What have we got up there? We've got, I don't know what we've got sailing up there. We can maybe send uh, some forces up to check them out. But yes, we've got the B-17s heading up here to see what on earth is heading out um, past Malta. Oh, we've got another another potential light cruiser. So we're going to send some um, B-17s from Tripoli as well. We'll send them up there and see what they can make of those targets. At 20 past 5 in the morning, the B-17s straight from Malta are up looking for this light cruiser which has been reported. Don't see it yet. Bombay doors open. We've spotted two ships. One looks like a light cruiser and maybe a destroyer escort as well. Uh, we've got the flight of four heading for the light cruiser. And we've got the flight of two here heading for the destroyer. So it looks like we've got a um, destroyer up front and maybe a light cruiser at the back here. And, um, coming in to try and do a bomb run. Bombs away. Oof, we lost one of our bombers, but it's a good attack. Second wave have dropped their bombs. Oh, beautiful. Yes, these are very effective. Oh, and there's a B-17 coming down. Oh. But we've got two flaming ships and the rest of the B-17s hopefully will leave the uh, area all right so this Italian destroyer is losing propulsion fires breaking out midships and we've got the creeks oh I think the destroyer's gone the Italian ship has gone The Italian ship sinking, flyers burning midships on this German cruiser, but she is going strong. She's still in the fight, it would seem. So, the after action report six B 17Fs attacked. We did lose one bomber and crew. We did sink the Italian um, destroyer for 3,000 tons, and the German light cruiser, heavy damage and heavy flooding but she survives. Right, let's get them to return back to base. We've got this other flight of B-17s heading out for a similar kind of setup, it would seem, out there. Meantime, at Tunis, let's get 
some more a couple more uh spitfires with actually can the bow fighters have rockets yeah they can let's send a couple of bow fighters axe we're down to four spitfires so um let's get um two bow fighters with rockets heading out to check out that uh, submarine or u-boat out there oh and an aircraft carrier really unlikely but um we need to go and pay attention i'm going to send i'm going to send all 12 b17s out uh because They'll make short work of a flat top if there is one out there. Okay, we've got three flights of B-17s up. Oh my god. Actually, there generally is a flat top. Holy crap. I thought that was a miss... Oh my god. Fighters coming in. Not like fog wolves. Bloody hell. B-17's getting shot down, a couple of fighters getting shot down as well. Another fighter shot down. Right, we're coming in. It looks like it, the, um, the aircraft carrier is surrounded by there's two battleships there. Maybe another one there. The, I think this is the Italian battleship fleet. Oh, I don't know if we're going to get any bombers there, sadly. Okay, it's just the last from few remaining bombers. Look at this anti- oh my god, how are we going to attack this? We are going full throttle. One bomber has dropped her bombs. And I think she's shortly to be shot down. Oh my goodness, my entire B-17 wing has been gone. But what a bomb run! What a bomb run! That is the deck of the aircraft carrier, the German aircraft carrier. I'm not sure, Graf Zeppelin maybe, I don't know. We, we're just, we're in the realms of uh, ifs, maybes, coulda beens. No way. We've just... Well, we've sunk their carrier. We have sunk their carrier. And as you can see, yes, indeed it was. Look. Italian battleships. Ooh, are you going to nudge it? Ooh. Klaxon going. Evasive maneuvers. Oh, but there we go. What? One bomber got through. One bomber got through, and the destruction is incredible. What a bomb run. If that crew survives, they were smoking. If they survived, they deserve instant promotion and medals. There we have it. 12 brave air crews attacked, not thinking it was a genuine sighting. Sadly, all 12 were shot down. However, one bomber did get through and sunk the aircraft carrier for 52,720 tons. And that means these, air, these uh, rest of these um, task group, the battleships and the cruisers and the destroyers, will not have air cover, which gives us a chance. The 20 aircraft they had in the air as a cap, 11 were shot down by the gunners on the B-17 bombers. They fought valiantly. Right, um, we've got some boat fighters out there. One thing we need to do is make sure our anti-submarine patrol does not run afoul of that group because they'll stand at no chance indeed. Um, what could we say? We, hmm, we don't have much in the way of yeah, I don't know. What have we got on Malta? Have we got more B-17s? Got 12 B-17s. Do I send them? 
I think I do, because they can wait out there, can't they? See if we can get a battleship or something. Wait till they uh, reappear. Right, meantime, this, um, well, I think this says one destroyer, but I think that's that light cruiser, is heading towards Malta. They are heading away, but they should be going that way. Two heavy cruisers, potentially, and three light cruisers. Oh my goodness, that's a tough ship. Um, right. I am going to divert these, actually. Malta's more important. Let's not have a, a, a shipping raid on Malta. So we'll send those B-17s to potentially intercept what we think is that light cruiser. So at 6.18, uh, those B-17s have hopefully spotted that ship heading for Malta. There it is. And it should be that light cruiser. It is. Didn't stand a chance. Gun oh, they got a bomber though. Another bomber sunk, but the uh, the cruiser's gone. So there we go. Sadly, one of the six aircraft was lost, but the light cruiser was sunk for six thousand three hundred and ten tons. Meanwhile, at five to seven, the Exeter's group has come under attack. It would seem. Nothing yet to report. The guns aren't swinging around, so it makes me think we haven't run into that um, remains of that carrier group. Okay, the guns are at... What are they firing at? Oh, we've got enemy aircraft coming in. Oh, they look like the uh, FW-119 Doras that were um, part of that aircraft group, aircraft carry group. Maybe they've um, got nowhere to land, so they're just flying back and um, going to strafe our destroyers. Oh, they got hit on one of our ships. Big burst of flame. So there we go, um, moderate damage to the LL Die Jones, um, minor damage to the Exeter it would seem, and the LL Pope as well, but everything else is okay. Uh, we shot down two of the enemy aircraft. Right, with the threat of this group coming towards us, uh, let's get our B-17s heading that way. Uh, so that's four heavy cruisers. We probably need to spend that 274 uh, on some new sea defences. I'm thinking a carrier group, battleship, the works. So let's have a look. What have we got? Um, let's have a look when it comes to aircraft carriers. So we can't have our American friends' um, boats yet. There we go. We've got the uh, Ark Royal, 100 cost. Is that the only thing that's available to us? No, we have the Victorious class carrier for 95. So the uh, Victorious gives us 36 Sea Furies, nice fighters, and 15 Avenger Mark II torpedo bombers. Okay. What does Ark Royal give us? 24 Sea Fires and 32 Swordfish dive bombers. Do we want more fighters or no more bombers? Let's let's go for the Ark Royal. We can get the Sea Fires, a fantastic aircraft. Um, we can have Ark Royal, Prince Hal, Princess Anne, Princess Charles, Prince George. Princess Anne. Um, let's go for Ark Royal. So we, we'll get Ark Royal for 100. Our flagship. Now, can we have a battleship to go with her? I love how it always goes to the Americans for stuff first. So 60 will give us a Queen Elizabeth class battleship. Old school have a war spite who actually survived the war 
Um, we could have for 60 a lion class battleship. Let's have a look. Armament wise, 9 times 16 inch. Queen Elizabeth is um, 8 times 15 inch. So I'm thinking of the lion class. I'm sure that came much later. The incomparable class. Okay, let's have a look. What's what's her deal? Um, six 20-inch guns. Okay. Um, the G3 class battleship. Nine 16 inches. Uh, the Vanguard class. That's um, eight 15-inch guns. Okay. Uh, well, the Gibraltar. Oh, sorry, the Gibraltar. The G3 seemed quite good. Nine 16 inch. Uh, the Nel. Oh, we, we skipped over the Nelson somehow, didn't we? The Nelson was um, nine 16 inch as well. Range 38,000 yards, 36,000 yards. 31,000 yards. Oh, I think it might. Oh, 55. The incomparable. That is a long range. She's only got six 20 inch guns, though. That's a long. 43,000 for the Lion class. What was Nelson? 38,000. Problem is, you seem to have access to some of the later technology straight away. Um, let's play it semi realistically, I suppose. Let's put the Nelson in that group. So it's 160 spent. Um, do we want to put... Let's get some heavy cruisers. Uh, what do we got? We got the Kent class heavy cruisers. Um, well, it should be county... Uh, yeah, county, county class, Kent class, fine. Uh, eight, eight inch guns. We've got the London class, which is eight, eight inch guns. The York class, which is six eight inch guns. Okay, we'll go for the uh, the Kent class. Let's get the uh, let's get the oh, let's get the Cornwall then, and we'll get Devonshire as well. So we've got two heavy cruisers, a battleship and a, uh, and a aircraft carrier. That should be a hundred. 160, 220. So we've got 50 to play with. What do we got? Light cruisers. I'm thinking maybe a couple of Dido's to get some anti aircraft fire up. Um, right, we'll get the Leander. And we'll get the. And we'll get Dido class, or should we get a. Amphion class. Let's get an Amphion class. Or should we not? Yeah, we'll go for a town class. Okay, let's get a new castle. And then we'll get some destroyers with it. Good. Right, so that is our main force in Gibraltar currently. Let's get her heading out here. Uh, we'll get the Ark Royal. Let's launch some fighters straight away. Let's put 12 of these sea fires up as a um, am I blind? Can I not see it? Ah, it's right at the bottom. There we go. As a cap over our uh, task group. A quarter to eight, our B-17s have arrived with the remains of that aircraft carrier task group. Okay, here we go. We've got them bombing in pairs for various different ships. And hopefully we can cause maximum, well, as much damage as we physically can. Very heavy anti-aircraft fire. The anti-aircraft fire on these Italian uh, warships seem to be very good indeed. The Italian fleet was quite modern. Lose a bomber. Bombs gone. Another one lost. Okay. 
Hits on the one there. Miss on the cruiser here. Oh, big hits on this one. Hits on the ship at the side of us. I hit a dud. Oh, and this one, I think, got struck by a dud. As another B-17 comes crashing down. And another. Oh, my goodness. They're being shot down in droves. I think we lost half our force. But at least one ship's gone. Two ships are gone. I think that one of them might be this one. Confirmation, we did indeed lose half of our flights. Six of our 12 attacking aircraft lost. Um, we've got a critical and heavy damage, and I think that's a battleship. Um, yeah, it was only a heavy cruiser. No, they're heavy cruisers then. Okay, um, so critical damage and heavy flooding on the first cruiser. Second cruiser sunk for 12,000 tons. Uh, looks like we've got a light cruiser here, sunk for 9,000 tons. The second was, well, looks like a destroyer. Moderate damage, heavy flooding, and another destroyer with heavy flooding and heavy um, damage as well. 21,000 tons sent down to the bottom. Not as good as I'd hoped, but by no means a disaster. Right, as we near 8 a.m. on the 2nd of October, so much has happened already. It's been incredible. Um, we started off today. Where do we start off today? It's been mad. I think we started off, didn't we, sinking U-49. Um, I think that was the first one we sunk. It's been a while. <laughs> uh, we sunk the Emmanuel Pasagno, something like that. Um, a Pablo Emilio destroyer for 3,000 tons. The Werner aircraft carrier, 52,720 tons. The Leipzig light cruiser for 6,310 tons. The Nuremberg uh, light cruiser for 9,040 tons. And it was the Gorizia, a Zara heavy cruiser for 12,000 tons. Wow, fantastic. So already 15 ships sunk for a loss of 104,000 tons and 57 aircraft shot down. We have only lost three destroyers for 3,300 tons, uh, but we have lost 31 aircraft so far. And it's only day two. So lots happening. Lots happening. We've got our aircraft and battleship group um, deployed. Uh, we've got the um, Exeter's group here. Oh, sorry. The Exeter's group under that ship there. This is our invasion force. We're just a... Um, yeah, a couple of destroyers who are hopefully are going to land some troops on Algiers. Um, yeah, let's have a look at Exeter's group. I may need to bolster that with a couple more cruisers, I think, once we get some money. Or some command points, I should say. Um, yeah, and our aircraft have taken a bit of a pummeling, but we are pushing back quite a few of these um, raiding ships as well. But we'll leave it there for now. I uh, hope you enjoyed the second episode of the Mediterranean campaign in War on the Sea. Uh, I will see you next time. Take care. Uh, please remember, if you like what you're seeing, make sure to support the series with a like and a follow. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.